Praise the Lord. One, one of the many things I'm grateful for is my sense of humor. I didn't give it to myself, just like I didn't gift myself of the talents that the most high God has bestowed on me and or you, gifts and talents. So I had a very angry man <laughs> inbox me saying, man, I went through a serious divorce. Ain't nothing funny about divorce. I told him, you right about that? I said, you must have seriously messed up. So he blocked me. If you invade my space, I have a right to get you off of me. And I'm going to do it so cool and, and so professional and, and so proper. As I leave this alone. So brother, I don't know who made you that angry. But if you're that angry, you shouldn't have got online and you shouldn't have got out of bed. But we thank God our Father for this beautiful day. It's cold out here. January the 4th in the year of the Lord, 2022. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for my sense of humor. I remember when I was hooked on drugs, alcohol, anger, a aggression, agitation, pharmaceuticals, VA drugs. Uh, I, I remember when I used to powder my nose. I've been homeless, helpless, faithless, loveless, you name it, but I've never been heavenly fatherless. But I'm grateful to our Father for delivering me from myself, blessing me to survive my own horrible decisions, no accidents, uh, falling with the scissors of life, running through the room of our Father, and he saved me time and time again. So, dear brother, thank you for the block, bo block party ticket. I grew up in the hood. I grew up in the projects, the projects, the inner city. So, a lot of blocks I didn't go on, and our Father delivered me for many blocks. So, I don't know who you are or where you come from. I, uh, I just connected with you a couple of days ago. So, you going through a divorce? I pray you make it through. When I divorced, my mom told me I was moping about it. I came home to Alabama and stuff and was moping and going on, wouldn't eat. She was cooking all that good food. And she said, damn it, you ain't dead. You're divorced. <laughs> I laughed so hard. And from that time forward, I realized what she was saying. My son asked me, how come me and his mom didn't make it? I said, son, sometimes two good people just can't get along. But if you're that angry where well, you can't forgive yourself, ask our father to forgive the other party and, and yourself, you in a world of hurt, a world of trouble, and a life of pain. Most people ostracize you and alienate you when they hurt you. They don't double back and apologize. This day and age, they just block you or ignore you. But when you're wrong, now if you're wrong, you ought to apologize. So brother, if I hurt your feelings, being that you feel as I did, I apologize for hurting your feelings about your divorce that you're going through. And I'm, I'm not saying that you caused it, but it takes two, baby. It takes two, baby. Me and you <laughs> to fight, to make up, to break up as I leave this alone. So thank you, Heavenly Father, for blessing me with my conscience, blessing me with my uh, sense of humor, Father, to laugh at myself, all the horrible, stupid decisions and things I've done in life. And Lord, I'm speed limit now, I'm 55. And the number five means grace of the Most High God. So thank you, Heavenly Father, for this wonderful day above ground. Thank you, Heavenly Father for blessing me to be who I am and whose I am. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for changing me as I leave this alone. As I leave this alone. Bless me to apologize, Father, when I'm wrong, not if I'm wrong. Don't allow me to alienate and ostracize people when I've hurt them, Father. And a lot of us been through that. The person alienates you and ostracizes you and don't contact you no more and they hurt you. <laughs> as I leave this alone. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this beautiful, cold, frigid day. But, Lord, if I wasn't alive, I wouldn't know it was 10 degrees out here, Father. Thank you for my fireplace, my heart. And thank you for the people, the situations, and the circumstances that you send my way to help make the world a, a brighter place. Thank you, Father. As the train approaches, I'm going to leave this alone. Peace. One. <laughs>